हेलो एवरीवन नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज लिमिटेशन ऑफ क्लासिकल क्यू सो द क्यू आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो इज आल्सो नोन एज सिंपल क्यू लीनियर क्यू और यू कैन से अ क्लासिकल क्यू नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस व्हाट इज द लिमिटेशन सो आई एक्सप्लेन यू विद द सिनेरियो सो इनिशियली माई क्यू इज एम एंड फ्रंट एंड रियर बोथ पॉइंट्स टू माइनस वन नाउ for the first time when i insert some data i have to point front and rear both at zero index then i will insert the data okay now again i want to nq 20 that means first i have to increase rear to rear plus 1 rear plus plus and then i will insert the data front will be at zero only now again i want to insert data 30 so first rear will become rear plus plus and then i will insert the data 30 Again, if I want to NQ forty, then first rear will become rear plus plus, and then I will insert forty. Now, let's say I want to NQ fifty now. So, if I want to enter a data fifty, I won't be able to insert because my rear will reach the maximum of Q. Okay, so if my array size is four, it has reached three. That means this condition, if rear equal to n minus one, q is full. This is my condition in case of classical q. I have already discussed this. So, n minus one means n is size of the q. Here my size of the q is four. So rear will point to now three. That means there is no space to insert new data. Now let's say delete the data ten. Okay, I have deleted this data and then front will become front plus plus. Now there is a space. but we can't able to insert new data why because this condition is again it is already true this condition is already true that means if rear is equals to n minus 1 in my scenario n is 4 so n is 4 that means r is equals to 3 4 minus 1 that is 3 if rear reaches 3 then we can't able to insert new data forget about front front because my condition is If rear is equal to n minus one, q is full. So my rear is n minus one. It is pointing to three. I won't be able to insert the data because I am inserting the data from this side, and my rear is already at its maximum position, that is three. I won't be able to insert the data. Still, there is a space, but still I won't be able to insert the data. Now let's say delete twenty. Front will become two. Again, there are two element space, but I won't be able to insert the new data because this condition is again true. Rear is pointing to three. That is, Q is full. Space is there, but we won't be able to insert the data. This is the limitation of classical Q. You can write like this. This is the scenario. Q is full at this stage. Front is zero. Rear is. n minus one, where n is the size of the array, and in my case it is four. So Q is full at this stage. Okay. Now at this stage we have deleted two elements. Now there is a space of two elements. I can insert two elements, but I won't be able to because my rear is pointing to three, which is n minus one. So condition is true and Q is full. So at this stage we have deleted two items. Now front is two and rear is three, which is n minus one. Now if we want to insert New element that is fifty n q fifty we won't be able to insert because rear is three that is overflow condition. You can take the screenshot. That means there is a space of two items. Still we won't be able to insert new elements to overcome this problem of classical queue. So this is the limitation of classical queue. We have circular queues. Now what are circular queues? I will explain in my next tutorial. Thank you so much, everyone. Thanks.